These are dark times, there is no denying. Although we face our greatest enemy today, your seeker, stand strong. We're here for the Triwizard Tournament at the University of New South Wales. A huge crowd has turned out for the occasion. Today promises to be an intense clash of quaffles, with unprecedented numbers flooding in from all sides. Hold on to your broomsticks, it's going to be a cracker. Well, you have three chasers on the field and a keeper. They can handle the quaffle, which is basically just a volleyball, and that you have to run up the field and try and score in the hoops which they're setting up right now. Two beaters on each team with three bludgers, which are just um, dodgeballs, and that's basically a game of dodgeball between everyone who's on the field. When you get hit with the dodgeball, you just have to run back to your own hoops. And then you have the keeper. His special thing is while he's in the keeper zone, he can't get tackled or get beat. Basically, the snitch is kind of the end game. That's how the game ends. Snitch has a tag at the back that the seekers need to catch. Snitch has 10 minutes at the start to just go and hide. Game continues. And then after those 10 minutes, seekers can go find him. Once they've caught the tag off him, then the game ends and that team gets 30 points. It's kind of hard to score 150 points in Muggle Quidditch because you're not flying and it's a bit more difficult that way. So 30 points still comes pretty close. Yeah, the snitch can pretty much do whatever the hell he, he or she wants. Uh, they're pretty rough. I've been throwing around quite a bit, but it's all part of the game. Uh, we were at a, a training session one afternoon and um, no one showed up. So it's about five, six of us. So we decided to go to the shops and we're walking through the shops aimlessly. We go into Clint's, it's in the tights. And then Daniel says, let's all get tights. And just kind of went from there. They're also doing a uh, sexy calendar for Quidditch for next year. So we think, well, leggings are sexy. One of my fellow colleagues, who's now our head beater, and he asked me if I wanted to come along and captain it. And then um, after a while, I got officially voted in. But until then, it's the only one who was willing to do it, give it a try, because, you know, people are a bit unsure about Quidditch until they give it a try and then can't get rid of them. <laughs> I think I want to extend my uni degree or just do another degree so that I can keep playing Quidditch for the rest of my life. It is that much fun. I started Quidditch because um, I really love Harry Potter and I kind of saw it at university and I had been out of sport for a while. Thought, oh, this seems like a good interesting different sport and yeah my fitness has gone up since I've been playing it. I started Quidditch um, last year when John app um, posted as like a status on UTS memes asking for anyone who was interested in starting a team so I said I was he messaged me we met up went had an AGM and yeah that's pretty much how I got into it. Uh, I was at a party I was talking to a friend Canada as we call him he's from Canada pretty simple nicknames and uh, he says we should go play Quidditch. Wait, this is like the magical thing? Like, yeah, okay. Went, started playing it, had great fun. Haven't stopped. Social relationships that are formed with, between other teams from different universities are amazing and I don't want to lose those. Like it's really, everyone sort of knows each other because we have so many tournaments. Um, we have one at least once a month and then we also have a Sydney Quidditch League where those teams will get together um, every fortnight or so. So with the, with the monthly ones we all get together, Newcastle, Wollongong, uh, UTS, Macquarie, UNSW, all the teams, they get together and um, yeah it's like we're all like a big family because we have one thing in common, so obviously we have something to talk about. And um, we also have little things between us, like, did you hear the snitch is loose? Yeah, he is. <laughs> and that's not sexual harassment, that's allowed because it's accepted by everybody. <laughs> and also uh, things like we don't shake hands, like normal sportsmanship things, we hug. In Quidditch, everybody just hugs. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, hey.